Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to come on and show you some nature themed junk journaling embellishments. So I've got some envelopes, some tucks and I've got some tags and just some general embellishments that I'm going to use to make a nature journal. Now I generally always make my embellishments first because then when I put fancy embellishments on a page I like to have it plainer that page so if I make my embellishments first then I know how many digital pages that I need to print which are the full images if that makes any sense you might see what I mean when I make the journal but I never put a fussy embellishment or a tuck onto a page that's already completely designed because the design pages for example that Artie Mays makes they're already complete in their self so let me show you um, the tags uh, the tucks that I've got first of all. Let me just get another page of paper so I can show you. So I'll just show you, this will be a page that I use in the junk journal but I'll just show you how they sit on. These are a corner, corner spot and Artie has already designed them so you can just score them and put them on and I've just added another tuck spot here so that'll be a tuck spot and there's a tuck spot and that will just sit in the corner of your page and will look like that and I've added lots of different layers and I've done stitching and things around it and I just love all of the images in this kit I've got another corner tuck here and I've done a bit of um, embroidery letters on my sewing machine and again it's a double tuck so it'll tuck there and tuck there tried to step out of my comfort zone and do a more grungy feel with all of these and I must say I love it <laughs> I do I absolutely love it so here I've made a whole page so it will be a pocket and again I think it's open for a small tuck there and that's just made out of a botanical vintage book page I've got another one similar here so that one will go on the page and again it's open and all I did is I just sewed two pieces of the book pages together and that's a piece of ephemera from the kit that I've just sewn around the kit that I'm using I think it's called nature walks um, I will double check the kit name for you and I'll leave the link in the description below and here I've made um, some pockets as well again this is just made from old book page this whole sheet and then I've done like a collage of papers on there and there's just some ephemera from the kit and I've just backed it onto a tea stained invoice and what I will do is I'll leave the top open there so it'll be like a double a double tuck but I've just put that one in there now to signpost it and I love that well that's actually a cookbook I didn't these pages are sturdier than the um, botanical pages. The botanical pages are quite thin. I've done another one here. I just love all of the embellishments. And here, this this little scrap of zigzag. I just made something wrong on a project, but I'd already stitched it. So I just cut the zigzag out and I've just put it in my scraps. Um, so again, I'll be able to do that. And I've just collaged scraps there all i was doing is because i've done a lot of tearing with all of this all of my pages have been teared rather than cut i had lots of excess left over and i've just made collages and on this one all i've done is i've just done a bit of crazy stitching because you know i love crazy stitching there isn't a closure on the envelope because what i intend to do is you know when you put it on the side of a page like that and i'll put a paper clip on there so it's got a lovely botanical theme on the back and all I've done is um, this one isn't tea stained but I've just put vintage photo around the edge some of my pages are tea stained but a lot of my book pages are quite old anyway here is a book not a bookmark but it looks like a bookmark it's a belly band that's designed in the kit but I'm yet to embellish it but it will just go on the page like that but this is one that I did embellish and I absolutely love this I've never used this fibre um somebody gifted it to me in some some happy mail and look at it it's beautiful and all i did was literally just done a zigzag stitch and done it like that so i think that's gorgeous i love the way that's turned out there's lots of blues in the kit as well so i think the blue will accent it blue will be the color throughout so now let me show you some of my envelopes 
just done this on just a, a small envelope that I think I got from Wilkinson's and just done another little collage on it fussy cut an image from the kit I've got another one that's small somewhere oh here it is so there we go bit of pages that are teared out of um, any botanical books that you have some Tim Holtz small letters or words or whatever they're called yep and just layered it up again another um, envelope just a pre-bought envelope that I've just vintage photoed around the edge fussy cut an image from the kit some botanical pages and a genuine wax seal that I just put on there and some cancelled or used stamps and then all I did was just stitch around the edge I stitched on this piece of paper before I stuck it on obviously so I stitched then created the collage over it done a similar thing here again two images from the kit one's fussy cut and one's just left and then I've just put a wax seal to keep that in place and a cancelled stamp the reason why these are fussy cut I don't usually do fussy cutting when I've got a digital kit but I think I duplicated them or I printed them the wrong size and I thought mm, the journaling card was only about that big and I thought I'm not really going to use that but I like the images on it so I literally just fussy cut them out and it was very useful. Here's a little envelope that again I will probably attach on the side of a page with a paper clip so it will look like that. I love that because then it then creates another tuck spot as well as being an envelope and the same blue fibre I've got it in a creamy colour and I just stitched it along there as well again this is totally outside what I would usually do um, but I did really really enjoy it I've liked it I've just been able to let loose and just slap things down and not be too worried now this is going to be the centre of my journal I'm not sure how many signatures it's going to have, but I will put an envelope of this description in the centre just to hide my, um, my ties. So that's just set aside for that. I did create two little um, journaling books because originally I thought I might make two journals, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how long it will take me. We do have the bank holiday coming up, so perhaps I've just tied it with some lace ribbon and all I've done is I've just put my scraps in there I've literally just made a little bit about my scraps and what I'll do is before I put it in the actual journal I'll do some stamping on those pages just to add a little bit of interest to them so do stay tuned to my channel make sure you subscribe so you can see the end journal or journals <laughs> And yeah, you know, I I do keep all of these little bits that you end up cutting off that you don't use. And I never really know how to use them. Same goes with all of these little bits that you tear off. I'd usually put those in the bin, but I use them up in this project. And I actually really like that effect. It makes a nice grungy effect. I've done some of these. I'm not sure what you call them, but they'll turn into tuck spots. I'll put them at the top of my page and then you'll be able to just tuck something underneath. Again, I've just layered them up. There we go. And here are my tags and journaling cards. As you can see, I already have quite a lot of embellishments, but I'm already thinking that I'm going to end up making more. So <laughs> it's going to be a chocker. Um, journal that's probably why I thought I would make two because I do only like having a few signatures in the journal so maybe I'll make a few because I just can't stop making these embellishments I guess that's the danger of making your embellishments before you do the journal <laughs> you make too many embellishments love this tag this tag is absolutely gorgeous it was actually a bit of a mishap on my sewing machine it was meant to be zigzag I think I was doing all straight and the tension was all wrong so but I think it makes a lovely grungy effect. Again, if I was doing like a, a pretty shabby chic one, I would have tossed that away. But that's actually my favourite um, tag. Here's a journaling card. I'll either use it as a journaling card or a tuck spot. So I'll just attach it here and attach it here and here and then leave it open at the back. That might be quite a nice one or that way around and leave it open. So lots of possibilities and, and that's just backed onto a brown paper bag. 
you know, like a carrier bag that they give you in Primark. Uh, sorry, upside down. Journaling card here, backed onto a bit of um, packaging. I think it was a bag from the chip shop. Journaling card, again, backed onto an old phone book. Another tag. I've just left this one simple because sometimes you don't want them too embellished because you've got to tuck them in somewhere. And my final piece, which is my favourite piece, I printed on some um, tea bags. Let me just grab them and I'll show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this. If you don't already, the description will be in um, it'll be in the description box below. But I printed using this digital kit on some tea bags, and I just had a little play around this morning. And I've made a journaling card. And all I've did is I've just layered it up and done some stitching over the top. And again, rather than it being, you know, you'd write on the back, oh, a little bit big, <laughs> it will go on there and it will be an actual tuck spot on the page. Uh, it will lap over the page, but lots will spill out of this journal. <laughs> I guess I could have, oh, I should have measured the journaling card first. <laughs> it does just fit, but it's a little bit tight, but I'm in love with that. I guess I could trim that side. That's gorgeous. And these tea bags are amazing. Right, so those are all of my embellishments. I hope you enjoyed this and got lots of ideas from it. Check out the kit down below and yeah, stay tuned to my channel for the final journal or journals. Take care. Bye.